Okay, so when I loaded the filament into the nozzle and I preheated the nozzle, it it uh it didn't allow the program to take over the heating of the bed or the nozzle, so I had to cut the um, had to cut the bed on, which did away for with the uh, wireless upload. But the way wireless works with these things is when you send them to the computer, the computer downloads them and puts them on its SD card. So I can go back right here and go down to my calibration cube and it's still in there. So all I have to do since I lost the upload was just uh, re uh, rerun it. And now it's going to rerun. Uh, it's going to rerun at that speed. You were asking about uh, you were asking about um, heating the bed. I'm going to show you something in just a minute why that's not necessary with this one. When it starts running that first layer, we have an option that we can go to to on the fly raise and lower the Z. So we watch it and see if it's sticking. See, I feel I feel very sure that it'd go faster than uh, than 80, sec 80 per second, which is what it's moving now. And it's very smooth and very quiet. But anyway, you watch you watch how that line's laying down, and if you don't like the way it's laying down, we can go to options, more, and you can raise and lower the Z on the fly. So I can raise it up. Uh, 0.05 at a time if I don't like that I've hit it twice then I can lower it back 0.05 at a time and put it right back where it was Ooh, wow looks like it's smoky in here doesn't it but that's it uh and that's at 80, 80, uh, 80 millimeters a second right there. I should, uh, I should probably put this on the stand and hyperlapse it. Which I think I'll do.